We do joke that we don't need to talk anymore because we think the same thing. I was just gonna say something to Peter, so I'm letting you guys come. Okay. So I legitimately cannot believe that you shredded <clears throat> the radishes. Why? Because I, this morning, mm -hmm. was going to use the salad shooter and shred the radishes. We've never shredded a radish in our life. Well, here's how it went down for me. That is really weird that you had that thought process this morning because I was making a salad for lunch and we didn't really have too much to put in my salad. Besides, we had some shredded carrot left over from making carrot cake yesterday. And we had lettuce and I saw those radishes in there and I like got them out. I was gonna cut them. But then I was like, how do you cut a radish for a salad? and your cheese grater was sitting out from you grating cheese. I was like, that'll work. I, I cannot believe that. shredded it onto my salad. That is so funny. Because I was thinking, we aren't just gonna chomp on a whole radish. Like, neither mm -hmm. of us are inclined to do that. <clears throat> Although, if it is on a like, veggie platter, oh, I'll, yeah. I'll go for the I'll radish. I'll go for it, yeah. yeah. They're usually not whole though, but. True. I was thinking shredded might work mm -hmm. because maybe we'd be like, yeah, I, I just, I cannot believe that. Yeah, no, it works great. I guess after being married for... How long have we been married? 12 years? 12 and a half? 12 and three months. Is it? Yeah. 12? Yeah. 12 years. 12 years? We start thinking the same things in the Most same the morning. Time. We do joke that we don't need to talk anymore because we think the same thing or we'll be about to say something and then we, we were about to say the exact same thing and it's like, why do we even talk anymore? Yeah, and then on the rare occasion, Mary will say something and I'll be like, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you aren't thinking the same things I am? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Pretty funny. <clears throat> funny. So Mary went to story time with well, Elijah at the library. Yeah. Not just me by myself. And uh, he's taking a nap now. I got some work done, edited a video. I had some... How'd that go? Um, it was good. It was like really cute. I'm Lately, <laughs> whenever I'm editing, I'm just like, Elijah is so stinking cute. What was the video? <laughs> it was, I threw in the clip of when we went into PetSmart or whatever pet store we went into and he was making, he, he saw the fish and was like, fishies. That's so cute. <gasps> so cute. Anyways, um, yeah, got some admin kind of stuff done. So yeah, so we need to scan that art. Yes. I painted like a piece of art that's too big for our scanner. Mm -hmm. um, I was thinking of making it available for CF Awareness Month. I painted it in honor of CF Awareness Month. And it's too big for our scanner. Is it like the piece of paper is too big or the piece of the or the art portion? The piece of paper is too big, but like I, it's hard to tell if like if you trimmed it, if it would fit, but I I think it's just going to be easier to go scan it at a at a printing place. So we're going to, we'll do that. And, and then we were going to check the thrift store for it. Oh yeah. We have gates at the bottom and top of our stairs. And we're missing like one plastic piece. I'm guessing it's a plastic piece. Yeah. It's just like, it's the piece, like the gate goes on the mount that I put on the wall. But it's just like a plastic piece to hold it in place. Right. So sometimes the gate pops off. If it's not we latched. Got... Yeah. Like, like it's... if it's latched, it's secure. Yeah. But if it's open, like sometimes it'll pop off as you're swinging it. So I think I saw that they had, and it's I random. Saw that too. It's a box of the like wall connectors for the gate. Yeah. And I think it's the same wall connectors, but. They don't have the gate at the thrift store. No, it's so it's like, who would buy that? But us. now I'm like, well, I think we're going to go buy that. I hope they don't have it like crazy. I think it's five-ish. It's probably worth it. 
We, we got those gates for like a ridiculous cheap price on Marketplace. She basically gave them to us. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yes. And then there's like quite a few things I want to buy at Walmart. Um, including silicone muffin tins. Oh yeah. Because I'm making these egg bites, I'm making banana bread, I'm making veggie bread, whatever. I'm using the muffin tins pretty frequently, and I think the silicone ones will be easier to clean. Yes. Because the metal tins over time get rusty and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. Are you able to hand me the ultras? I can. The third hand that you have from hand holding the camera and eating your salad. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember my dream last night. Mm. I um, have a weird dream. Did you? Mm-hmm. I never you remember, remember it? No. I just remember because I woke up with Elijah at one point. And I think I like woke up from a weird dream at that moment. Ugh. <clears throat> Mine included vlogging. Okay. I don't dream vlog very often. Hmm. I <clears throat> But I remember I, we were writing somebody a letter, and it was like, we don't usually film on Sundays, but it's Easter, and we filmed. Which like, was yesterday. And we did yeah. film yesterday. When Easter? When we were baking a cake. Uh-huh. You were writing this in a letter? That's what I'm confused about. Did I write one of you guys a letter? Dr Let me know. <laughs> Dreams are weird. Okay, I just came outside. I need to clean this up. And the animals just came outside. Hi, Harry. Ollie. Oh, I need to give you a haircut. Those be beautiful birds today. I hear them. I hear them. Do you hear them? Do you hear the birdies? Oh, wait, my baby's not out here. Ooh. All right, I gotta, I gotta get this cleaned up. Kind of afraid I'm gonna find a bird's nest over here. As you can see, they started to build a nest. This is actually all that's left. There, this whole thing was filled, and I was like, "Well, that's kind of sweet." And Peter's like, "No, we don't want to have to not use that door for a few months." However, so we we decided to remove it before they laid eggs. And it's the Carolina Wrens. They built a nest in a paper bag on this little table thing a couple of years ago. And it was sweet, but it did feel like we were bothering them every time we came outside. So probably away from the house is a better place to build the nest. <clears throat> but we have a bluebird house. Wait. Is that? Hi! Hi, Mommy Bluebird! I was just coming to check on you. Right here on this green string. Hey, Bluebird! So here's the Bluebird house. I was gonna see if there are any eggs inside. The hole is ginormous because flying squirrels chewed it and laid eggs in there, er, not laid eggs, had babies in there one year. I think I have a bug in my hair. All right, let's check if there are any eggs. I can't see with you guys, so I gotta use my phone. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna walk away quickly because there are eggs! Yee! Baby bluebirds! I really hope <clears throat> that those bluebirds will be safe even though the hole has been chewed bigger. I suppose that it's probably meant to be small so that predators can't get in. But anyway, all of that to say, I'm afraid I'm gonna find a bird's nest in the picnic blanket or the baby's outfit which reminds me i want to put this on him because now that he's walking it's gonna look like a little teddy bear walking around <laughs> so cute <clears throat> all right <coughs> excuse me all right i'm gonna clean this up okay here's where i'm at so far i uh condensed the pots the pottage and I tried to sweep a little. I have some more to do here. This is how you sweep with one hand when you're holding the camera in the other hand. So 
so effective. Okay, I guess we can put away the heater for the summer, or spring, and yes, what we've talked about, I don't know if we will ever do it, but we may someday um, screen this in, so it would be that wall, this wall, and then put a screen door from here to here. So it would be, this is the only covered portion right here. And it doesn't look that big, but it is big enough. You could put like the mini couch, one of the couches, you could put that on that wall. I don't know, we'll see what we end up doing. We're certainly not gonna do that today. I don't know, maybe we will. I should ask Peter. Are we gonna screen in the porch today? No. No way, Jose. Morning. Say hi. You wanna show them what you're eating? What is that? Is it yummy? He's really digging those veggie muffins we made. I have a thrift store haul. This basket, come on, that's so cute. And this like workout top. It's the same exact thing that I had have still. It's way worn out though, mine, uh, many years ago. It's like a Gap athletic workout top. And that was all we got at the thrift store. And we just got home. I needed to check on my, my bagel dough. I need to look if that's supposed to double in size because I don't think it did. So I'll look that up in the recipe. And we got a bunch of, a bunch of clearance Easter stuff for next year. I'm so excited. I didn't get like anything this year. Oh wait, yes I did. I got the wooden eggs, a little set of six wooden eggs for him at the Target dollar spot. And I got him a little like teething egg. He's still teething, he still has four teeth. More will come eventually. Right, buddy? Are you gonna make more teeth? <laughs> it doesn't bother you. You still love that muffin? Four teeth or no teeth or a hundred teeth? So, um, I also got him a few books, but I didn't get him very many like, I don't know, Easter eggs. We didn't dye Easter eggs or anything. He's just not there. Like, he wouldn't know what we were doing. But next year, I think it's gonna be a different story. So these, everything was half off. So these were like a dollar 10 or something like that. They're real light. It says 12 plastic eggs. So I don't think they open. It doesn't look like they open. But they're like chalkboard, I guess. I don't understand but it came with a little thing of chalk and then you just decorate them. Wouldn't that just be fun to sit outside in the grass and just draw on them? The little green paper grass. Um, what else? A dino, dino fossil for 50 cents. Some bubbles. Ooh, did that leak? I don't, no, I think it's, oh, did that leak? Oh, man! What? One of the bubble thingies was completely gone, almost. Oh, no. I guess maybe we'll use this one this year. Let's save the other one. Oh, well. Um, these wobbly thingies. And Peter was saying these would be good. You could put one in each Easter egg and hide it, you know. So, that'd be really fun. Uh... I don't know, a couple other things. I always got a toothbrush in my Easter basket. I'm sure I'll give these to him before Easter next year. I'll probably just pick him out a new one at Easter next year, but oh, oh, oh. this is so cute. He's never even seen Sesame Street, but it's so cute. And okay, look, they did have a silicone baking thing and it has metal. I thought it was gonna be totally wobbly and we'd have to put it on a cookie sheet or something, but that was a good find. What? Look at all of these. It was like $4. So we got it. 
And I like that they're attached. They've got the little like attachment thing. So the two halves stay together. I like that. Um, yeah, we got strawberries, onions, a box of macaroni, box of taco shells, a cantaloupe, some rice. Oh yes, this for next year. Ollie, are you eating his muffin? I think Elijah may have put it on the floor for Ollie to eat. Uh-oh. Oh yes, a couple other Easter things. I See, I kind of went all out. I told Peter we got him the Easter Surprise Supreme for next year. Um, dinosaur, mystery dinosaur and slime. I didn't even read that. And then football eggs. Nope, basketball, basketball. I know sports. It looks like Peter may have gotten himself a treat. I support that. And every once in a while, once every quarter of the year, we want popcorn. So I got the two pack of popcorn that has an extra thing of butter that you pour over it. So I'm very excited about that. And then I found a clearance pack of, oh, there's more Easter stuff, hold on. Um, Play-Doh. And these are empty shells that look like a chocolate bunny. And I don't know if you guys have had this experience. When you get a chocolate bunny, it's so much chocolate that you don't end up being able to eat it all. So with this, I thought we could open it up and just put either, um, I don't know, kinetic sand inside, or if we wanted to do chocolate, we put some M&Ms inside or something. And yet it looks like a chocolate bunny. I'm pretty excited about that. Those are 50 cents. Okay, I was gonna say, I found a clearance pack of bread, some rolls, and then uh, we got some deli meat and we already made a sandwich in the car and we all split it and it was so good. So good. All right, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for joining for my Walmart and my thrift haul. And as always, we'll see you guys later. Say bye-bye. Do you want to say goodbye? <gasps> bye. Are you guys ready for this? Should I tell him? Tell who? You. Oh, tell me. I already ended the vlog. <gasps> Oh, here's dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am so excited I right made, now. like, pan-fried tilapia sandwiches. Look. Look at that. Look at that. And mm. these are our clearance rolls. Yes. I am so excited. Let's eat. Thank All right, you. good night. <laughs>